this is the Mac Air solenoid valve that I use. It's a high flow valve which is very important to make sure you get proper flow to all your fixtures or your air hoses. I'm going to rotate this now. It's a 24 volt AC valve. I'll leave this here for a second so you can get the part numbers. You can see it has a yellow wire coming out the top where all your control wires are. On the inlet side of the valve, on the center port, port is where the air comes in. But you also know that it has two uh, filters that go on the uh, valve itself. And you'll have to purchase those uh, separately because they don't come with the valve. It keeps any uh, dirt or items uh, impurities from getting in the valve during its operation. Of course you look at the other side and you see uh, two uh, shop uh, type air chucks that are on there that uh, keeps the ports closed unless there's a line hooked to them and that's important in the operation of this valve. This is the 24 volt AC transformer that I have plugged into the GFI outlet on my Haas TM1P. It was a transformer that I had with an old sprinkler system that works just fine for this application. This is the back side of the 24 volt AC uh, transformer that I'm using to power my air solenoid valve. And it's got a couple connectors down there at the bottom. Pretty simplistic, it gives you 24 volts AC from 110 and this is plugged into my GFI outlet for my Haas TM1P. This is the yellow wire that comes from the MAC air solenoid valve. It has a, a green ground wire and I've connected that into like a little wire nut and then I ran it over to the, the side of the machine for a ground. Okay. And then the black wire that comes out of the air solenoid valve, it attaches to one of the, the wires coming for your 24 volt AC uh, transformer. And the other lead on your AC 24 volt transformer attaches to the center post on your uh, connector. And the red wire coming from the solenoid would go to the outside post. And we also have a little snubber circuit here. It's a capacitor that we use uh, as a snubbing circuit as recommended by Haas. Here's a picture of the capacitor I'm using, the snubber circuit. Here you can see it where it's plugged back into the circuit board, it's in the M23. And here's where the wires run back out through the wire chase. This is the wires that come off of my 24 volt AC transformer. This little brown wire is up to our, our wire chase and it parallels the, the yellow cord going up into the wire chase going to the left. And it hooks up to 
the M23 terminal on the circuit board. And as you can see further over here, one of the term one of the terminals off the yellow wire goes over for ground to the Haas cabinet. You need to be very selective when you get a solenoid valve. Make sure sure that you have one that has a high flow because if you don't you won't get enough air to operate your uh, appliances correctly. I went into the MDI mode and I entered an M53 and hit cycle start and we're going to go around to the back of the cabinet now and you'll see that it turned on the relay. Put the back of the cabinet now as you can see the M23 relay light is lit which gives you air to your air solenoid valve. We now have the uh, air hose plugged into the bottom side of the air valve and uh, as you can see we got the we have air pressure to the bottom port. We've now plugged it into the top port we have no air pressure. So that shows you which uh, port that the air is coming out of at a particular time. Now I've keyed in a, an M63 on the control in the MDI mode and hit cycle start and it turned off the, the M23 relay at the back. We'll go around the back of the cabinet and I'll show you that. Now if you look at the M23 relay, you'll see the light is out at the back of the cabin. There'll be no air supplied to the solenoid valve. I typed in the M63 code and uh, hit right enter and cycle start and it locked the uh, air collet fixture that is the Heinrich 5C. Now on the bottom port of the solenoid valve, when you press the nozzle, you get no air, so that is turned off. And what it has done, it has actually uh, uh, transferred the uh, air to the top port. So whenever it's uh, like a normally open, normally closed, it'll either have air to one side of the port or the other, but by having these uh, air uh, chucks on there, it'll uh, leave them uh, blocked off until you need them or you actually plug something in to the circuit. We're going to show you here in a, just a moment how it works with a, an air chuck where you uh, got a 5C collet and you want to put uh, air to one port and it, not air to the other and then it also reverses whenever you turn it off and on to clamp and unclamp items in your uh, uh, 5C air collet chuck. Here's a demo of the Heinrich 5C air collet fixture as it pertains to this program. I typed in an M53, hit cycle start, and it released the part in the 5C air collet fixture. As you can see, the part is loose in here now as it's been released. This can be mounted to your um, milling machine table. I typed in the M63 code and uh, hit right enter and cycle start and it locked the uh, air collet fixture that is the Heinrich 5C. As you can see now the part is locked into the fixture and it can't be removed and uh, that's how it works uh, with the Heinrich 5C air collet fixture. And that is just hooked up temporarily over here to my air solenoid valve. So either one valve or the other has air pressure applied to it to either tighten the, the vise or loosen it, or clamp or unclamp it. This concludes our little uh, demonstration on how I hooked up the uh, M codes on my Haas TM1P. Here again if you decide to to try this, you do so at your own risk, and I assume no responsibility for any uh, damages that may occur to any equipment or yourself. You also want to be careful if you're inside the cabinet of the Haas TM1P or any Haas equipment, whether the power is on or off, 
you have very high DC voltage in there, it can kill you. So you want to be very careful in what you touch in that cabinet. And if you're not uh, sure, you want to make sure you got a, a licensed electrician to help you along the way. If you have any questions, uh, give me a call. And uh, I thank you for looking.